Hi, I'm Alicia from U-Haul Wilmington, Delaware, 926086, and today I'll be doing a hitch on a Toyota Highlander. Let's get to it. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove one, two, three, four bolts with a 10 millimeter. Then I have two additional plastic bolts to remove. For me to remove these two, I'll need an extension and a 12 millimeter socket. You might want to pull down on it a little bit just to make sure it's free. Once free, take your flat head, loosen up the two fasteners. Some of them will already be coming out because it's loose. Once this removed, I'll set this aside, return this to the owner at the install. Now I'm going to repeat the same process on the passenger side. I have one, two, three, four, five, ten millimeter sockets to take off and one fastener. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket and an extension if needed. All right, this rear end bolt will need an extension. All right, once free, take your flat head, loosen up the fasteners. Okay, once all removed, I can take it down. And then set this aside for reinstallment. All right, next I'll be using the cordless impact with a six inch extension and 11 millimeter to remove the tow hook. Now I'll go ahead and set that aside. This will get returned to the owner. Next I'll be removing these two bolts here with a 12 millimeter socket. You may need to hold up on this to break the bolt away freely. This just temporarily will get reinstalled. Now we're going to use this plate here provided by the manufacturer to lower the exhaust. I'm going to take these bolts that I took out previously and put them into this slot here. Okay, now that the bracket is up, I'll take this bolt and put it through here, one on each side. I have to wiggle it a little. All right, once it is through, I'll take the conical tooth washer. These teeth here are used to grip the frame of the hitch. Hand tighten first, one for each side. Then I'll be using wrench and my 10 millimeter socket to tighten. I noticed that I forgot to remove this bracket here also. So I'll be using the cordless impact with a six inch extension and 11 millimeter. All right, I'll be removing the plastic, just popping it out. Then I'll be doing the same for the driver's side here, just popping out the plastic underneath. This one requires a, just a small screw out. All right, now we're gonna get the hitch in place. There are three mounting holes on each side. One, two, three on the driver's side, and one, two, three on the passenger side. We'll be using our exclusive U-Haul jack to help me maneuver it underneath the vehicle. Here we go. If you don't have a hitch jack, you'll need an extra set of hands to help assist you on getting the hitch in place. Make sure your holes are lined up properly on both passenger and driver's side. All right, I noticed there's some caulking here that's providing the hitch from getting properly aligned. So what I'm gonna do is take my utility knife 
and take some of that caulking out. All right, now that this caulking is removed and it's clear, I wanna put the bolts in place. Remember, conical washes up facing the hitch. I wanna temporarily hand tighten these for now. Now we're over at the passenger side, we're gonna do the same steps. Now that the bolts are hand tightened, I'm going to use my cordless and pack and tighten them down. I'll be using a 19 millimeter. Now we're going to do the same for the driver's side. Now that I got enough bolts tightened down with the cordless socket, I'll use a torque wrench to torque it at 76 foot-pounds. And you'll torque this until you hear a click. That click there. All right, now that I got these all torqued down, I need to go ahead and torque down these two to 20 foot-pounds. All right, now that I'm all torqued up, I'll be replacing back the underbody back into position. I previously took out five bolts, but I'll only be using four of the five. This is where the fifth bolt would have went at, but it's not used because the hitch is now in that place. Here you have it, here's your hitch. There's a maximum growth trailer weight of 6,000 pounds, a maximum growth tongue weight of 900 pounds. The measurements for this hitch are three inches from the end of the receiver tube to the edge of the bumper, and 16 inches from the ground to the inside top of the receiver tube. There's your two inch receiver, hoops for safety chains, and then there's a bracket for your wiring harness if needed. Thanks for watching my video. My name is Alicia. Have fun and be safe. Thank you. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.